good afternoon uh, so in the video we will talk about data types in python so already previous video we have talked about basic data types and python support the data type is indicated we need to get some calculations we need to use some calculations we need to do some we need to use some inputs external inputs now we have and the external inputs are defined in the data type being rather so morning on the moon data means previous video of the data types number discuss funny for a single value for a different for every value the data type for a single value so the first three data say for represent for three and the next like list tubule dictionary and the set it is represent for collections so collections collection of collections of values uh, so actually you know, the collection of values which is derived from the list list la irundha mattum dhaan namnala vandha enna panna mudiyum appadina derive panikka means indha mela irukra single values la irundha mattum dhaan namnala enna panikka mudiyum derive panikka mudiyum so ipo vandha pathinga appadina so ipo idhula vandha int float la me basic data types nu paathom for representation of numbers string for alpha numeric and special characters and boolean for true and false so here list of being the enna appadina it is a collection of values so the collection of uh, different data types different or similar data type uh, so similar data types uh, so it will be represented by rep, uh, sorry it is represented in uh, within square bracket uh, i mean uh, the values are need to be represented within square bracket so values are represented in Represented in square bracket. In the square bracket, the end solving of being a mathematical programming language, you know, array subbing a solid ripping. So, you don't put in a bin of immutable. That means it is a mutable, a bin of mutable, a bin of editable. That is the list of Marie Thurman. I'm a edit panic now. Duplicates on the lower album. I mean, duplicates in a bin of Thurman on the value more than one value. Thurman Thurman is a panic now. A lot. It is unordered. अदर नहीं है तो आर्डर आर करना नेसेसरी नहीं इन आर्डर लोग बनाला आलू आए क्यों सो अदर वाले तो पता ही ना वन स्क्रीन पर नाला नहीं इधर पने क्लाम प्लस आइट्रेट पने क्लाम हाँ ये मींस एक्सेस रे बाय यूजिंग इधर लेकर एलिमेंट्स है लामी इंडेक्सिंग इस पने अलग दिखला एक्सेस बाय यूजिंग इंडेक्स यूज पड़े उन्हें ना एक्सेस पढ़ने के बुरी हो आप फॉर एग्जांपल उन्हें पतिंग आप भी ना जस्ट ना वो रिलेटिव ग्रेड पना पड़ा है सो जस्ट ना उन्हें एमटीआर ग्रेड पना है पना स्क्वायर बैकेट पुल त्रिके सो इट मीन दिस कॉलर्स एमटी लिस्ट इपो एमटी लिस्ट का ना मेमोरी साइज नहीं का पार गए आह सो इधर का ना मेमोरी सिस्टम में तेरे जो अपना बिना इट विल बी आह यूजिंग सिस्टम पाय मतलब मॉड्यूल लगा ये रखो सो सिस डॉट फंक्शन है मतलब ना गेट साइज ऑफ गेट साइज ऑफ इस समय तो आह टू नो व्हाट इस द साइज फॉर योर वेरिएबल ये इन उधर उर वेरिएबल अंदर ये उन उधर पता है ना आरेंज कोड पन की इट इस फिफ्टी सिक्स so minimum number of bytes on the yellow allocate down on the now 56 bytes allocate down uh, this is for empty list uh, this is for empty list empty list to come with allocate down on the pathing of dinner 56 bytes allocate down it will uh, what the elements other the list like element add up hard on both the size from their add it in the form the based on your multiplication factor or add up for example if over element is required in a panel list lower element is required in a um so already on the body in a 56 bytes coda or elements to catch under the key it will add eight bytes of values eight bytes are happening so that it takes 64 bytes so let's check on it. So for example, I'm going to add one element now. For square bracket, you can tell me that you have one element. So if you have one square bracket, you can tell me that it will be considered as a list. If you have a type, so the last line of type is a list. So type, the class belongs to list data type. Ipo in the list lana kudu turu ke. So if you have a list lana kudu turu, you can tell me that you have a size. So sys dot get size of I'm going to find the memory allocator. It is a 64 bytes. Clear? Okay, if I have a two elements in my list, I have a two elements of data. And if there are two elements of data, just you can try to understand when I list of two elements of data. For example, 10 comma minus 2. So, end element of data. So, if I do this, I will try to type of data. So, type of A. So, it is a list data type. 
and I'm trying to know how much amount of memory will be allocated for this. So SI is the size of A. A memory that is right. This is 72. So again, the 8 bytes will be allocated. That is 56 bytes. Uh, plus for one value, it is 8 bytes. So there will be two values. So 8 plus 8 is 16 bytes need to be added. So that 56 plus this is 72 bytes. After that, there is enormous changes in my values. Uh, that means that the memory will be for uh, 3 and 4. Means that if, for example, I am trying to store three values in my array, uh, I mean, I in list for the type, it will be on a list element, and I am trying to find the value of, uh, I mean, the memory will be allocated for this A. It is a 120. It means that after that, uh, it is, will be expressed in terms of a two power. So if a three to eight elements in my list, if I have a three to eight elements, so uh, that means 56 bytes and plus 8 into 8. Sorry, uh, there are 8 elements. 8 into 8 bytes. So 120 bytes will be allocated. Even if I have a 3 by 3 values or maybe a 4 value or maybe a 5 value or maybe a 6 values in my list, always 128 bytes will be allocated. In case in my list, I have a 9 bytes, that means 9 values. So see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I have a 9 values in my list. All the values need to be separated by comma. And so if I'm trying to uh, find the type of this uh, A, so A is a type of belongs to list. And another important characteristic is uh, just uh, I'm going to find the size. So date, so size of, I'm going to find the age. So again, uh, there, there is a value uh, for easy understanding, just you can do like this. Um, so for, uh, um, it is a two power three concept. So two power three, it is a two power four. So that from nine to, uh, nine to 16 values, there is a 16 elements means the values inside of the list, 56 bytes, plus there are 16 bytes. So that's 16 into eight bytes, so totally, again, 64 will be added, so that 184 bytes will be added. So like that, it will be expressed in terms of two power. Again, it will be expressed like, uh, um, that means that, uh, again, 17 to 31, 32 values. Uh, again, it is uh, 32 values, so that 32 into 8 will be extended. Or at least it will be extended by 64. So that again, uh, 9, I mean, so 16, so 17 to 24 values. So that it will be again uh, plus 64, so that uh, 248 bytes will be allocated. And for the remaining values, again 312 bytes will be allocated. So uh, just it will be multiplied by 8. That means add with 8 bits for every 8 values. Uh, so that if the range is uh, beyond the limit, then automatically the 64 bytes will be added. For example, if I want to store the 17 bytes, means 17 values, that is a, here values means I mean the elements. So 17 values, and I, any 17 values, not only 1, 2, 3, you can store any value. For example, 2, 1, even duplicates also allowed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 values, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 17 values I have. Oh, sorry. Uh, so mistaken. I forgot to put a equal here. So then I'm not, I'm, I didn't follow that uh, order. So that uh, it is also an error message. Now I'm trying to find the value type of this my array. It is again, it is a list category. And I'm trying to find out how much amount of memory will be allocated for this A. It is a 216 because it's a 17. Again, 60 will be added. So like that, the calculation will be taken place. So normally the 70 to 24, it will be allocated for 64 bytes for maximum size. So don't worry about the minimum size. So the maximum size will be as 248 bytes. So it will be worked like that. So this is the way that uh, the list will be taken place. And even I, uh, I told that no, so that it is a mutable. Uh, I mean that, uh, for example, I have a three elements. Uh, so it can be accessed by using index. It means that the index varies from 0 to uh, 0 to n minus 1. We will discuss in future part. Just I can explain what it is. If I'm going to say a of 0, the first element in the list will be displayed. So the first element is 1. If I'm to display the second element in the list, so 2 will be displayed. 
So if it is a third, I mean, so sorry, uh, the two means that it is a third element in the list, and because the index varies from zero. But don't worry about that. We will discuss about the constant list uh, in depth in later part. So even if I want to change the value, uh, if I want to change the values, just even uh, for example, I want to change the value in zero index as one, two, three, four. So now I'm going to change print a. So automatically the changes happened in the index. Initially the value of the A is one here at the zeroth index. But here I can able to change. So it is called mutable property. That means it's mutable means the ones after, I mean if it is a mutable, after the creation of the list, we can edit, we can change the values at any time. And also the duplications allowed. Duplication means the same values are represented more than one. It will be allowed. It's a possible to allow. So even just if you want, you can display it whether it's okay or not. It will be allowed. So that is called, I mean, so the duplicates are also allowed. And also it is unordered. Unordered means that you can define in any order. For example, I given this order and I'm trying to display the value. Uh, it will not display like ascending order or descending order. It will, uh, it will be always displayed by the order where we are inserted the values so that it will not follow any specific orders. And we are going to access the element by using index. I told you, no, it will be accessed by as a book, book index pages. So first element can be accessed by zero index, add the next to one, add to the two. So like that, it will be work. But don't worry, we will discuss in the later part. OK, so the next one, it is a tuple. Um, so actually, uh, the list is a collection of different or similar data elements. Still now, we discussed about that uh, list is a collection of similar elements. Even if you want, you can disperse like a uh, uh, so uh, sorry, uh, there is a space, small correction, just a minute. So no error, so just I'm going to print the value of this, yes. So it is called a heterogeneous. It means that the list contains a different data types. This is for integer and this is for uh, float and this is also for float and this is for string. So if you want to know about that, so for example, I'm AR0, sorry, uh, is my listing is yes. So I'm going to print it as one. If I want to know the type of AF1, Integer because in the A of one I have the value as one. One is belongs to integer. If I'm going to print the value of type of yes, sorry, type of is uh, it is a list. I'm going to print find the value of s of one. So s of one it is for represent 2.3. So 2.3 means that it is flow. If I want to print S of 1, see the what is the value of S of 1 is 2.3. I'm going to find the value, I mean so the data type of S of 1. So it is flow. If I want to know the type of uh, CSE, CSE belongs to S of 3. This is because it's a fourth element. Because CSE is as a string. So it is come as a string. If you want it for checking, just you can try what it is. So this is the way just uh, uh, the list elements we can express so that we can say that the collection of different or similar data types. So normally, I mean, so, uh, the different means it is called uh, heterogeneous. Uh, heterogeneous or maybe it is a similar means uh, it is homogeneous. Homogeneous collection of data. Uh, so ho homogeneous collection of data types we call as, uh, so that is called as a list. And the next one is called as a tuple. Uh, tuple means it is also, uh, it is similar to the uh, list. It is a collection of the data type. And just we can copy this and we can work on that. Uh, so actually the same concept, but actually uh, there, is a, so, uh, there is a small difference we have between the uh, list and uh, tuples. Actually it's a collection of, it is also the collection of similar and as well as a non similar data type, but normally it will be represented within parentheses. Actually the lists are represented by using square bracket, but the tuples are represented within parentheses. Uh, represented uh, in parentheses, P-R-A-N-T-H-E-S, parentheses. Okay, but it is immutable. Immutable means that, uh, uh, so immutable means that not possible to edit. So not possible to edit. I'll repeat once again. Uh, actually, list la vandu padhinga bina. 
ரெப்ரஸன்ட் ஸ்கொயர் பேக்ல ரெப்ரஸன்ட் பண்ணுவீங்க பட் டியூபல்ஸ் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா பேராலிசிஸ்ல ரெப்ரஸன்ட் பண்ணுவோம் இது வந்து மியூட்டபிள் மியூட்டபிள்னா ஒன்ஸ் கிரியேட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் நம்ம எடிட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் பட் ஆக்சுவலா இதை வந்து எடிட் பண்ண முடியாது ஸோ தட் இட் இஸ் கால் இம்யூட்டபிள் டூப்ளிகேட்ஸ் அலோ பண்ணும் தென் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அன்னாடர் பட் ஆஸ்கஸ்ட் பை யூசிங் இண்டெக்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே இப்ப நம்ம செக் பண்ணலாம் எப்படி ஒர்க் பண்றது அப்படின்ட்டு So just a minute. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create the tubule. So it is called empty. This is called empty tubule. Clear? So for empty tubule, it is the same thing. If I want to know the type of this A, it will be represented as a tubule. Clear? Okay, now just I'm going to create a tubule. But if I have one element, it must have a comma. And I'm trying to know the value of this A. It is a tubule. Uh, before this, just I'm going to create an empty tubule first, and I'm trying to find the memory location which is allotted for this. So this dot. So its size of uh, yes. So normally the 40 bytes will be allocated. So that for empty bytes means uh, for a uh, on uh, empty tubule, it will allocate 40 bytes memory. So that uh, if you are comparing the list and the tubule, uh, the list for the for empty list will need 56 bytes. But if you are, it takes only 40 bytes. If I have one element in my list, uh, sorry, in my tubule, for one element it is separated by comma. Then now, uh, if I want to know the the memory allocation for uh, this tubule, if we get a memory allocation and the tensor now, you know, it will take some 40. It will be incremented by eight bytes. So one element in my tubule. One element in the tubule. It is minimum 40 bytes. It is empty plus 8 bytes will be added. So then the 48 bytes will be added for that. Again, it is a two bytes. In tubule, I have a two bytes. Again, the 16 will be added. But anyway, just we can now. Uh, so uh, this there is some information in tubule, and I am trying to find the what is the data type of this tubule. Uh, so it is a tubule, and I am trying to find gate size of yes, fifty six. So the eight bytes, eight plus eight will be added. So forty bytes plus there are two values. So that uh, uh, eight into two bytes will be added. So the fifty six bytes will be added. Now we are going to add a third element. So in my list. This is some values we are added, and I'm trying to find how much size will be added for this get size of this yes, sixty four. So that automatically the bytes will be added. Uh, that means the bytes will be added. It will not add extra memory like for list. List la ando padhena three to eight ando padhena sixty four bytes add idea ando thunde chhe. But actually ando two bilab di kare. Over element add a add a ka mulke add idea da apko. But uh, and another thing na maine sunao bhi na it is a immutable abhin sunao. But before that ena sunala bhi na uh, access to by using index abhin sunala. Ipa yes la idu na as usual the ten ando zero the index. This is a minus two abhi na the second index. I mean the first index in sunala. If I want to access s of zero, it is a thing. It is a s of one abhi na minus two. And in SAF two up in a it is three four five six. But actually, our list la under padhi na edit panna lang sole no. But a one ko padla SAF zero la one ko padla under na under so ten ko padla I want to represent as ah one minus one two three four five six seven na kudu kudu nene kira. It will under it will shows the error message that does not support item assignment means you are unable to to assign a value for the tuple. So that only we call as immutable. And that the tube la once you get create panna bodo purukra values na. Idi kapare thoda values sa unna la change panna mudiya adhe. So it is not possible to edit. So not possible to edit after creation. So after creation of the tubeal. So after creation of the tubeal. So that we call as immutable. But actually list on the pathinga unna immutable na list on the mutable access panni ke mudiyo. But the tubeal na the immutable panna mudiya adhe. Are there the same values we can represent for any number of time? Uh, so, for example, one one. So, uh, 
So the duplications are allowed. And they play indexing is put in the panicla, in the order of Kurukurma, the order of Iruko, in the ascending order or descending order, where the conditions carry out. This is called a tubal. And this is the collection of similar and dissimilar data types. For example, uh, so So it will be displayed as such. So that it is a collection of different, it is a homo heterogeneous or maybe homogeneous data type. That is not a problem. But normally in real application, the tubules prefer to go for heterogeneous and uh, array at least goes for homogeneous. Homogeneous means that array data type will come under data number, list of prefer pandemo, but the tubules of prefer pandemo, but they have heterogeneous, different, different data types. In the matter of the chapinado, now store panic law. Okay, then the next to that is I will go for dictionary. So dictionary it is called as a key value pair. So Q key value pair. Uh, so that the syntax, I mean so it will be represented by using uh, uh, so the same concepts. Uh, it will be represented within curly brace. Uh, uh, we call this curly brace. Call it see, curly brace. Uh, it is uh, mutable, even we can able to edit, possible to edit, uh, the duplications are not allowed, so you know, the duplications are not allowed, it is also unordered and we can able I mean, access by using index also, uh, index is for access, for example, Uh, so I am going to represent the uh, MD dictionary and I am trying to know the type of this dictionary in the type of the part right? dict. So in keyword is, uh, for representation of the keyword is dict. So that is the name of the class which represent for your dictionary. For a tubal it is a tubal and list it is a list. Okay, so and now I am trying to find out the memory size. There is an empty tube, it may be empty of the so that it is called as empty dictionary. Now I am trying to find the memory allocation for this empty dictionary. The empty dictionary ki yellow memory allocation for the parada, it is a 64 bytes will be allocated. So for empty dictionary, it is a mutable, uh, duplicates are not allowed. Uh, so for empty dictionary, uh, empty dictionary. So that's a 64 bytes will be allocated for empty dictionary. And I am trying to add a one value inside of the dictionary. Uh, so for example, it is a key value pair. For example, I am going to say that it is, uh, you see here, this is called a key and a colon. Uh, so normal the syntax for representation is, uh, it will be represented only within a curly brace key value, follow key, follow me value. It may be anything, it is like as a dictionary, uh, means one uh, or meaning, for example, EC department, one and a cram, so now in general, EC represent, if the meaning is one, if I'm trying to print the value of this A, it will be displayed as usual. Even if you want to know that uh, equivalent value, just you can represent. So it is accessed by using index. Index I'm going to use for add panna And I'm trying to store just a minute. I can represent you. For example, one ko bala hundred thousand eighty ko bara, two ko bala three thousand eighty ko bara, and again one ko bala thousand sir thousand five hundred eighty ko bara. Now I'm trying to print it. Ada na thoda display panni paak na empty irkin de. See that only it means even for the key values are repeated for more than one time. But actually, it is displayed only one time. One or time or two, we have to Okay, so that the duplications are not allowed. The duplication means that the value, duplicate values are allowed, but the duplicate keys are not allowed. I mean that the duplicate, no, no, duplicate keys are not allowed. Duplicate keys are not allowed. Duplicate key and the key allowed. It is unordered. Clear? So then, in the order of the key, the order means, uh, sorry, um, uh, just a minute, uh, we check the order of the order. For example, 2 is the key. 
It is a 232. Clear? So that uh, the maximum memory it will be occupied. So, uh, but normally, uh, so just uh, the memory allocation will discuss it later part of the time of the, the I mean, uh, discussion on dictionary concepts. Uh, so just you can always keep on that. It is a key value part that is called ma mapping. Simply we call as a mapping key values with um, uh, value. So if we have a key, that means that uh, instead of this key value, we can replace with this value. That is the meaning of the dictionary. So normally it is very very important. And move on to the next one. It is a set. Uh, so set is it is also to be represented in curly brace. Uh, it is a, uh, it's an unmute, unmutable and the duplicates are not allowed. But it is ordered and it also not possible to access it by using index. Can be with, represented within uh, curly brace. Uh, means curly brace. It is uh, immutable. Uh, so it is immutable. It is immutable, so not possible to edit. The duplicates are not allowed, and also it is ordered collections and not possible to allow. I mean, so not possible to access. Not possible to access by using index. Index is for you now. You can access it. So just a minute, uh, I can represent. More than one values are separated by comma, so this is called the set. So even if you are trying to access the initial value, it won't. Set object is not subscriptable. Subscriptable means that not possible to access by using index. Index is पने उन्हाला access पना मुड़िया दे अभी गधा indications वाले दे. आ सो आधे बोला उधर बने ना दबना iterations पना मुड़िया दे. So I am trying to repeat the values. So duplications ना allow पन रहा. Okay, so print A. So now duplication is starting up. A is repeated only one time, even though I am defined for two times. Uh, but actually, here it will be repeated for only one time. So that this is the way just uh, uh, we can convert that. Uh, I mean, sir, we can represent your list into two. Sorry, uh, we can use the concept of set. So these are the different type of collection data types. A collection data types is supported by Python. Actually, in a previous video, we discussed on single value data type for representation for every value. Uh, so even uh, see that if you want to know about uh, this value, we can able means we can for uh, this is called collection of integer data types. So this is for uh, define the data type for every input. But uh, these are the data types represent for collections. Collection means that we are going to store more than one value in a single name. But here, these are all we can able to store only one value inside of a single name. So that only we call as a single value representation and the collection values representation. So that is a list. A list means that it is represented by square bracket, tuple represented by parenthesis, dictionary it is represented by key and value pair mapping it is represented by curly brace. Set also will be represented by curly brace. So, uh, so these are the possible type of collection data types will be allowed, and the set won't allow the duplicates. Set and the dictionary won't allow the duplicates, but the tuples and the list will be allowed the duplicates. And this is unordered. Here also it is unordered, but it is ordered elements. So it is ordered element, and uh, so here uh, I mean so that the list, tuple, and uh, dictionary can be able to access by using index, but the sets are not possible to access by using index. 
Uh, so uh, this is the way that uh, the concept of the data type, uh, I mean, so that uh, the collection data types will be supported by Python. Thank you.